creepy place. And we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Nobody here either. Well, so what? When you're out of gas, you can't be chosen. I don't like it. Just the wind. Don't be afraid. It's just the wind. I want to get out of here. No, no, wait. Don't be afraid. Look. It opens right up. We could go if we wanted to, but... Well, it's raining cats and dogs out there. Oh, well, what are we going to do? Stay here all night? You don't want to sleep in the car, do you? Why do they have the company picnic so far from town? Why well, worry about that now? You got a nice warm place to spend the night? Oh! 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 Where? <laughs> oh, oh, it looked like a person. Oh, oh it's uh, it does look a little like your mother. Oh, please don't joke. I'm, I'm scared. Maybe if we had some lights. Oh. oh. The lights don't work. It's a problem for you. Oh. It happens all the time in these country storms. Hey, here's some lamps. Hold this. Soaking wet. Yeah? We're lucky we found this place, you know. Oh, Walter, tell me the truth. Did you really run out of gas? Bad boy. You think I'd do a thing like that just to get you alone in a dark, deserted cabin? Yes. <laughs> well, I did. It's a great idea, but I didn't think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see? There's nothing to be afraid of. Plain old cabin. Yeah. Oh. It's a bedroom. Yeah? There's uh, nobody in there, is it? No, no, no. It's empty. Hey. This is kind of cute. Yeah, it is. This bed is okay, too. Hey, this is gonna be all right. <laughs> Walter. What? You're sleeping out there. I am? Why? Because you are. If we were married, it would be different. Well, we're gonna be married. We're engaged. Yes, for seven years. I don't even know if you're serious. That's silly. Would I stay engaged for seven years if I wasn't serious? You're sleeping out there. Okay, okay. But are you sure you won't be frightened? Sleeping in here all by yourself? You said this was such a creepy old house. You've convinced me there's nothing to be afraid of. At least from the house. Oh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> well, do I at least get a good night kiss? Oh, <laughs> I suppose so. Walter, this is just a good night, not goodbye. Yeah. Good night, Beverly. Good night, Walter.
open the door. Beverly, it's me, Walter. Beverly, please. What is it, Walter? Well, I, uh... Are you all right in there? Oh, well, of course I'm all right, Walter. Why? Uh, would you like me to come in and talk to you for a while? Walter, please, I'm going to sleep. Just for a moment? Walter, what's the matter with you? Well, um... There's some uh, kind of funny things going on out here. What kind of funny? Just funny! Walter, are you trying to frighten me just so I'll let you come in with me? No, no. Because if you are, it's a cheap trick, and I'm not falling for it. I'm not scared anymore, and don't try to get me to be. Uh, Beverly, honest? Besides, you haven't got a shirt on. <laughs> well, so what? You see me without a shirt at the beach. Well, I've never seen you without a shirt indoors. <laughs> Beverly, please let me in. Just for a minute. All right. But just for a minute. Yeah. Uh, uh, sit down beside me for a second, huh, Beverly? Hey, Walter, now please. We've waited this long. I know, I know. I just want to talk to you, for goodness sake. Sit down. <laughs> Beverly, listen. Uh, what would you think? I mean, uh, maybe I could just uh, lie here on the floor tonight? <laughs> well, why would you want to do that? Because I'm worried about you, that's why. Sleeping here all by yourself? I told you not to try to frighten me. It just won't work, that's all. Okay, okay. Uh, would you like to stay in the other room with me? You can sleep in the bed, I'll sleep in the chair. Walter, I want you to leave this bedroom right now. But Beverly, Good I... Good night, Walter. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> is haunted. Walter! It's a truth. I'm telling you. Funny things are happening in my bed. Well, I don't want them to happen in mine. Beverly! Beverly! Please. Oh, honey. We, we won't go home tomorrow. We'll go to Las Vegas and get married. If you just let me stay in there with you tonight. Huh? The answer is no. <laughs>
we're going to the next town. But we're out of gas. You won't push. <laughs> you see? Hello. Is somebody here? No. <laughs> see who it is. No, it ain't. Oh, nonsense. There's no such thing as ghosts. Who are you? Uh, oh, oh, who are you? I live here. Oh. Well, uh, this is my fiancé, Walter. I'm Beverly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, it's the other way around. I'm Beverly, this is my fiance. <laughs> oh, you're an engaged couple. Well, then you've come to the right place. Oh, well, what do you mean? Well, the sign must have blown down. I'm a justice of the peace. Now, join hands, please. What for? I don't know. It's a custom. You can keep them in your pocket for all I care. You mean you're... you're... You mean you're going to marry us right away? <laughs> like, like this? Well, why not? But, but, but <laughs> we're not dressed for a wedding. No, but you are for a honeymoon. <laughs> well, you do want to get married, don't you? Uh... Well, you do, don't you? A minute ago, you couldn't wait to be married. Uh, that's true, but... Uh, but... Uh... Shall we get on with it? Do you, Walter, solemnly swear to take this woman, Beverly, to be your lawful wedded wife? To love her, to honor her, to cherish her, and to protect her as long as you both shall live? Sure. <laughs> uh, I do. Do you, Beverly, solemnly swear to take this man, Walter, to be your lawfully wedded husband? To love him, to honor him, to cherish him, and to share the spare room with him? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I never could stand long engagements. <laughs>